knowing what the characteristic of a trading day uh, reveals allows an investor to have a huge advantage knowing what should ex they should expect next. For example, the doji occurring in the Dow today with stochastics just climbing into the overbought area tells us that we have a simple rule of a doji, the market or the price is going to move in the direction of how they open it after a doji. So if they open this lower, meaning if we wake up tomorrow with the pre-market futures lower, the probabilities are pretty strong there's going to be a sell-off at least back to the uh, T-line. This also would be an indication that this level that topped out over here before is acting as a resistance one ag once again. So this allows an investor to immediately move upon uh, closing out long positions and maybe adding a few short positions for the next few days anyways. That would also be confirmed by the NASDAQ doing kind of a left right even though the stochastics aren't in the overbought area. It's selling off. It did close just above the T-line so it still makes the assessment very simple. If tomorrow's trading shows that they're opening it lower that tells us after a sell signal even though the stochastics aren't in the overbought condition that this downtrending channel is still the predominant uh, trend indicator telling us that they're going to be taking it down. If you add that on top of uh, the Dow having the doji opening lower that pretty much tells you you want to be short for at least the next few days or at least out of long positions until we see how far down they're planning to take the market. On the other hand if they open up positive and start trading positive that tells you on the doji they're moving in the direction of how they opened it uh, or after they opened after doji which means it will be breaking out into new territory and it will be also demonstrating that the NASDAQ is continuing to trade above the T-line that this was just a pullback day. Knowing which signals and patterns are the strongest for example in our recommendation to buy GNC stock and the calls was based upon a Morningstar signal in the oversold area a close just above the T-line it could start being bought on positive trading the next day it wasn't very convincing however notice what they did the next day they gapped it above the previous day's open and went positive doing a trend kicker which a trend kicker signal is a very powerful indication the bulls not only are in there with some strength but with a lot of strength so the fact that you can add up all the indicators a morning star signal in the oversold area stochastics starting to move up a close above the T-line and then a trend kicker tells you that the upside potential is still very strong uh, even though the uh, stochastics aren't uh, anywhere near the overbought area or because the stochastics aren't anywhere near the overbought area there's still probably more upside to this trade. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.